Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, do you ignore your inner voice when it comes to dating and relationships? Well, there's a lot of us who will say that they hear something and they know that maybe they should be taking a different path. But a lot of the times people ignore their instincts. I call them my spidey senses because mine come out pretty powerful. So I've trained myself to listen to them because if I don't, I always end up on a, a lot harder road than I really want to be on. Because when, you're, when your in, inner being is telling you something, it's your intuition that's saying, don't do this, do this, go here, don't go here. Even something as simple as walking down the street and you decide, okay, I'm gonna go left today instead of right. But your mind is telling you you should be going the other way. Sometimes silly little things will happen because you chose the other path. And what makes life so difficult sometimes is when we don't listen to our guide. Our guide is our best thing that we can have within our, our in, in inner being is it takes care of us. It's like our own personal assistant but we don't always take that route. That becomes a huge problem. And if you look back at some of your relationships over the years and you say to yourself, there's a lot of similarities in the people I've let in, the people I've spent a lot of time with. There's some similar qualities here, but they never work out. But if you are honest with yourself and you really think back to those relationships, I'll bet you there was something telling you to go the other direction or not to be with this person or to meet somebody that you're better suited for. Sometimes it's a familiar situation so we get we gravitate towards it because we know it but a lot of the times if relationships are not working out and we're choosing similar people it's because we're supposed to be choosing a different partner in our life. Our gut instincts are really our common sense. They are the path of least resistance they're taking you to where you're supposed to go. But so many of us are not tuned in to hear them, or we just decide, no, I think I wanna go there because that might be a little bit easier. Like think back to when you're choosing your career. How many people really sit down and say, I wanna spend nine years to become, I don't know, a dermatologist or a, a, a surgeon? It's a lot harder to do take that path than to take something that maybe is only two years at school or three years at school. But your in, inside is telling you, no, that's what I really wanna do. And so if you listen to that, that is where you're supposed to go. But sometimes we do take the easier route when it comes to our careers, our choices in our relationships, even when we're just dating, we just decide, you know what? I'm gonna go because I haven't been out for a while, but your, your gut's already telling you that person isn't really the kind of person you, you wanna date, but you say, oh, I'm just gonna go anyway. But your gut keeps telling you, don't go, don't go, there's something off or there's something not right. If we listen to our gut instincts on a regular daily basis, and as I said earlier, trained ourselves to be able to hear them, your life is just so much smoother. It really, truly is. So a lot of people ask me, well, how do, you, how do you know when you've met the person that you think is your partner? Again, it's that instinct. You know that there's a connection, that there's a, a, a person that you just are clicking with. There's not a lot of obstacles. There's not a lot of spidey senses telling you to get out of there and go the opposite direction. It's the opposite of that, it's making you feel like this person is great for me. I get that I'm supposed to be with them. And once you learn to be able to connect with that inner being that you have available every day, you will choose much better places to be. And your life will be simpler, more fun as well, but it won't. there won't be so much drama and toxic stuff and, and all those things that go with repeating a pattern that doesn't work for you. Please understand that that voice is your caution 
to a lot of red flags. I mean, hey, come on. I've done it many times where I've gone in because maybe somebody was hot or I was really attracted to them. or, And I know my red flags are saying, this is trouble, don't go here. But I go because I can't help myself. I'm talking about my past life. And so what ends up happening is you end up getting your heart broken because the person that you already knew was going to break your heart absolutely did that. So if you can say to yourself, you know what? My guide inside of me is my best friend. It's going to lead me mostly down the right path as long as you're listening to the right voice. I mean, people can make mistakes on that and they think they're listening to their, their common sense, but sometimes it's a little bit different. So you want to really pay attention to what's actually being said inside of you. What warning signs are you getting? How many red flags do you have to have in every new dating experience, every relationship before you hear the message you're supposed to hear? That's what I want to get across today. Don't ignore that sit down and be really truly honest with yourself about what you've allowed what hasn't worked what has worked what was really good maybe just not great timing but it was a good situation and lean more towards that type of you know behavioral stuff that you want to include in your life and to keep happening for you because the more good things that you bring towards you the more good things keep coming towards you and that's the bonus so please listen to your spidey senses, especially if it's you're in a sort of a situation where you feel danger. Always, always listen to that because that is a very powerful instinct that should never be ignored. So in closing to this, this topic today, I just want you to understand if you truly want to be in a loving partnership, monogamous loving partnership and have a couple of children and all those things that are really important to you make them happen don't settle because you're at a certain age or you think you know i'm never going to get it put it out there and really believe you're going to get it and listen to all the little warning signs and any little red flags that come into play because if you listen to them it will bring you much closer to achieving the relationship and the goals in your life that you want to have. I really truly believe this. I've practiced it myself. My life is a lot smoother now because I don't ignore my common sense, my instincts anymore. So please leave any comments you have regarding this topic today. Anything you can help others with. I love it when people write little notes and messages underneath the video because it, other people read them and they learn something from them as well. And so if you've experienced this yourself and found some really good things have happened to you once you started to listen to your instincts, I'd like to hear about them and I know everybody else would too. So please leave your comments if you haven't subscribed. I'd love it if you did so today. And please click like and leave me any topics or any conversations you'd like to have. Leave those in the comment section as well. Thank you so much everyone. Take care.